What's up everyone? Bridge and Jess here. And today we are exploring the fact that like 80% of women are wearing the wrong bra. Yeah. Let's talk about that today. How about that? We make videos on spirituality, health, and wellness weekly. So if you like what you're seeing, press subscribe. <laughs> Let our light shine to you. And leave a comment so we can say what's up to the new subscriber. If you're fortunate enough, like me, to have normal sized boobs, you might not understand this. Like I still get like marks and stuff. Yeah. Like they're not comfortable for anyone maybe. They say to measure them at home because a lot of the people in the stories don't know what they're doing. And they probably However, get I disagree. I think Victoria's Secret's bullshit. Oh. Everyone we has all know to that know that by, by now. Me. I yeah. think they're just pulling numbers out of their ass. If you don't know this by now, let us know what you know about Victoria's <laughs> Secret. That's uh, let us nobody know else the secret to know. because hey, Victoria's <laughs> a little cunt. Victoria, you need to let everyone know your secret because your sales fucking suck. But their bra sizes only go up to a triple D. So if you have a bra size above a triple D, with which I think most of America does, probably. No, I'm just because we have big boobs. A lot of people are obese. They have big boobs. Which. A Whatever. Boob is a, boob. a boob is a boob. So if you get measured there and they say you're a triple D, they're only saying that because they're trying to sell you a bra. Yeah, if you're a triple D of Victoria's Secret, take a second chance because so they're if you desperate have big for your boobs, money. Go somewhere that has plus size bras. Yeah, don't go to people struggling for money for your bra size. <laughs> That's for sure. And I've heard them tell like A cup people they have double D's. Whoa, that's a jump. But I will say I was wearing the wrong bra size forever because that happened to me. I was wearing triple D. Your dress And I got measured at Victoria's bra. Secret. So then I went to Nordstrom. It was like right before COVID hit and this lady was in the dressing room with me and um, she was like, take off your top. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay. And I feel like I forgot to wear deodorant that day so it was really embarrassing. And I feel so sorry for her for that. But she was so nice so she's like, you take off your top, which obviously you get a more accurate read, because at Victoria's Secret, they just like do it on the floor. They do, they have you lay on the floor? No, they just like measure you oh. around what you're wearing. I was like... Which doesn't make sense. Why they make you get on the floor? No. So I'm like naked in the dressing room with this lady, and then she measures you, and then she brings you a bunch of options. Sorry, guys. If you're wondering, he's <laughs> never going to hang out with me again. <laughs> He's like, you did it. You Gucci, picked me up. Gucci, what size bra do you wear? Gucci himself is probably a triple D. <laughs> yeah, he's a chunk of thing. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> it's just so enchanting. <laughs> okay. You want to watch the show from the stadium? Yeah, so she like measures you in the fitting room and then brings you a bunch of bra options. And I think the most important thing that people don't realize is like the middle should be laying flat against your bone. Bone, yeah. It needs to be like flat your chest against and like cuff ribs. them. And there's videos on TikTok how to measure them at home, which I've tried and I didn't do it right because I'm dumb. I would like to commend your bra journey because I feel like it's taking you like a year. It's taking find. me like my whole life. People don't realize, <laughs> especially if you don't wear a bra, like if you're a male, um, and I don't understand how it's taken this long to figure out, even for like a normal, see, I don't think it's anything unreasonable to expect yeah. to find something comfortable. I can find jeans that are comfortable. I can find shirts that are comfortable. But for an average size C, why is it hard to find a bra that doesn't hurt my back because the straps are digging into my shoulders? Oh, I know. That's a good thing about the bigger cups. What am I, a 36G? Because they make it like wider. Okay. For support, which is like obviously not cute, but also right. it helps. And I guess um, 90% of your support comes from your band. Oh. So your first, when you first buy the bra, the band should be on the tightest. Okay. Because it's going to loosen up over time. My favorite place for bras is Third Love. They're kind of expensive, but they'll last you like a year. Make sure you wash it in like a mesh bag. I had to buy a different mesh bag for big broad. <laughs> Put them in there or else you're going to ruin them and they're too expensive to ruin. I, agree I haven't everything. bought from Fenty, but they offer plus size, which I guess would be triple D and up. But I will say the one person who doesn't offer plus size bras, which is shocking to me, is Miss Kim Kardashian, who we also have beef with at the moment. Kimberly. So, um, I'm going to start this by saying 
I've been a long time fan <laughs> and I still am. I've had time to calm down. Yeah. But the morning she sent out that get up and work bullshit on International <laughs> Women's Day, I can tell you for real that I woke up in the middle of the night in a rage. I just felt it was insensitive because I feel at the time, the day and age. Okay. First of all, the question was, what's your advice for women in business? Her answer, fine. Get up and work. Fine. But she followed it up with, no one wants to work anymore, which like, triggered bitch, me. no one does want to work. We literally get treated like shit. So Kim Kardashian, I just want to point out, because I'm still a fan now that I've calmed down and I realize you're going through a divorce, so maybe, <laughs> maybe you're just kind of losing your shit, because it did seem like Kanye for a while there was getting at you. However, yeah. I'm thinking you guys are pretty much even at this point with that whole Pete nasty Davidson text. I'm sorry, but someone needs to, wait, what does she say? Oh, someone needs to put that bitch down. <laughs> I've been Kim this whole divorce. Yeah. But Pete almost makes me want to turn the other way for Kanye, which isn't even okay because he's not being right either. Can but, we just like hate all of them? What? We love Corey. Kim. Yeah, we love Courtney. Oh, also I'd like we to love point Courtney out and Chris. my own bias because when Courtney Kardashian was going so true, I liked her more for that. <laughs> I am high. <laughs> <laughs> on life. On life. <laughs> Actually, I'm not high. What the fuck am I talking about? If Kim ever uses a Trump slogan that I've seen on Fox News a hundred times during my say? other job, nobody wants to work anymore. That's a big That's Republican what they say. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I got so triggered because it's a huge Like everyone's like thing. against that right now. Not I'm like working, but yeah, fuck working. <laughs> yeah, nobody does want to work. I no don't want to fucking does. get up and Are go to serious? work. If you want to go to work, you're a fucking freak. So anyway, make sure you're wearing yeah. your bra. Anyway, get your bra checked, or if you're me, get one. <laughs> I'll go to work for you if you pay me to work out. I'm not working for that bit. Me neither. Fuck you and your work. Also, I wanted to buy your Skims pajama set, the really soft fuzzy one. Are you kidding me? Over a hundred dollars? They're selling it at Forever 21 for like 15 a piece. Oh. Like come on. In a, a pandemic, you think they could lower their prices for their fans. Yeah, like some of us just want comfort. Some of us just love you and want your things. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the Skims bra. That's why I'm fucking mad that it doesn't come in my and I size. I did want that pajama set, but I'm not paying that much. So she can be more rich and I can be more miserable and poor. Haikus. I would like to apologize, you guys. This just turned into a rant and I'm going to work on that in therapy. <laughs> Their new therapist. On greater, on the high note, I got a new therapist. Love him. Literally said a couple of true things, which I never do with the therapist. It's That's usually, good. No, people always say you need to like find your therapist. I found mine. I did. I don't know. I was like, I like you. <laughs> I don't know if I'd have enough to say for a therapist. I just don't have any problems. <laughs> See, that's where my life is a little sticky. But I don't address anything. Maybe I'm just a narcissist sociopath and I probably should get a therapist then. No, but I mean, if you're going through life as blissfully as you are, why would you change that then? I just feel like... If being a narcissist and sociopath looks like you, then we should all strive for that. My issue is more not being aware. Like, I'll get irritated and want to flip out over... Like, I'll be at work getting paid, yeah. and I'm like, are they kidding me? They want me to do this? Oh, I get so mad when someone tells me to do something. We have authority issues. Yeah. Which I think is why we like going to church. Yes. Because church, God, the ultimate authority figure. Never tells <laughs> us what to do. Yeah, like, we'll go up in that church and cause chaos. We'll go in there high, and then I'll bitch about this ceremony so everyone around me just knows how disrespectful I Dude, am. She looked at church on Ash Wednesday. This bitch looked like Maddie in the audience ready to beat Cassie's ass. I was, <laughs> I was tapping my foot. I, I was know. pissed. Literally, but I run a church so much that, like, if it's a boring priest... Yeah. I can't sit there. Like, what am I here for? You're not yeah. giving me a spiritual experience. Like, You're wasting honestly, my I time. don't have any idea what they're talking about. I just like the choir. I think I'm having anger issues. Maybe you should tell your therapist that. I did tell him I yell, and he was like, oh, I didn't know you yell. I was like, oh, I mean, not really. I don't know.
I feel like I know a few girls that I work with. You know who you are. Then. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> that get like angry like you do. Like it's not just you. Thank God. Like, like we're all how good. How could you not be angry? I mean, right. In a day and age like this, I think we need to accept that anger is a side effect of the time. This looks like my house. <laughs> is this your passage of the day? I don't know. Maybe. That looks like my house. Benadryl. Cherry phone case. I need that. That is so cute. I love Benadryl because it's pink. I love Benadryl because sometimes... I love Benadryl because it knocks me the fuck yeah. out when I'm having a bad day. Sometimes when I don't want to do the dishes, I take Benadryl because I just know it's going to zone me out. Mm -hmm. And then I'm up for like two hours like cleaning because I just have forgot it. you take a Benadryl, but you didn't hear it from us. That's what I did. Mark said like, you need this. Though. And I was like, I'm addicted. I do not. I don't want to go to bed. And then I find out that I can just actually function Yeah. if I'm having like... Uh, I would say if you're severely anxious or having like a bad panic day. attack. Yeah, because like where you need to like pop a Xanax. Yeah, one has because it can knock me out, and it will unless if I, I take like, two. Really I'm freaking. knocked out and nothing knocks me out. Yeah, I win. I want to know what kind of what bras that bitch Sydney Sweeney's wearing because I need those. That girl probably has She's people also sewing young. her bras I know. straight onto her. She's also young and probably has like amazing boobs. Well, we've all seen them actually. And like famous as fuck. Wow. Jasmine in the air. The burden of fame is real. Never felt so clear. Wow, that's a good one. I saw today I buy a Jasmine plant to make your house smell good, so I'm going to do that. I don't let you guys know if it works. I want to buy one too. And they're non-toxic to cats. Jasmine smells good. I want Jasmine in my place. It smells like... Dirty feet. You want dirty feet smell? No. I have dirty feet smell. <laughs> I need jazz and smell. Jazzy. The maid of Manhattan who couldn't clean her own home. <laughs> That's hot. Thanks for watching today, you guys. And with this, we sign off with our blessings. Make sure to leave to a you. comment. Comment. <laughs> Yeah. And tell us what's up. We'll be back next week. And try not to judge me for my rage. It's all over the place. I had a clear description of what I wanted to say. And it, life doesn't care. No. Life will when give you. When you make plans, God laughs. What so, she said. Good luck to all our big boo bitches out there and small boo bitches. And tiny boo bitches just know we are Because boobs are great no matter what size. Great, but a struggle. Boobs are great and they deserve comfort, like we all and do. And they feed even. <laughs> yeah, tell me why the source of nutrients for us. I know. Doesn't have a proper some more respect on the things that place. feed the children of the world. Can we just put some respect on women? It's National Women's Month. Well, it's not anymore, but you Every know what? Month. Yeah, I feel like we didn't get enough. And you know what? Pete's. <laughs> treat women with respect. Why for did fuck's your voice sake. crack? Because that's my <laughs> truth in there. Really angry, letting you know that Kim is not an object. Her life is not um, a conquest for you to brag about to her ex husband, you sick no. fuck. And have some fucking respect. And RSP. And with that, now. and with that, we blow out our candle. And bye. Welcome to the tea that we both adore. It's time to have a blast. It's so much we